Good morning, PPC Youth is Coach. I'm excited to be with you this morning. It is a new year, which means new opportunities, new challenges, uh, new focus, new energy, and I'm excited about it. With everything that went on in the previous year, I'm excited that we have been graced and blessed enough to make it to a new year. Um, this year, we want you, within our youth department, we want to use the thing. We want you to reimagine. I know last year we had a lot of hopes. We had a lot of ambitions. We had a lot of dreams that may have been pushed to the side or, or may have to may have been altered due to a lot of things beyond our control. So this year, 2021, we want you to reimagine. We want you to rethink. We want you to refocus. Your dreams are still attainable. Your life is not over. We have a new year, new opportunities, and we're excited about it. This year, the beginning of this year, we're going to be studying and looking at the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs is a very good book for you to study as we go into the new year because it's full of wisdom. It's full of good insight. Uh, it was written by Solomon. Solomon was a king. He was the son of David. He was known as being a wealthy, smart man full of wisdom. So we're going to be looking at Proverbs. We are starting off in the first chapter and verses one through seven, basically, this gives us an introduction. Proverbs 1 through 7 gives us an introduction to what Proverbs is all about. It's a bunch of insights that gives us keys and gives us clues to making good, sound decisions. And we want to make good, sound decisions as we go uh, through this year. We want to be consistent. It, it speaks of discipline. It speaks of discernment, being able to understand things and then apply them. We know that wisdom is key. If we're going to move uh, in the right direction in 2021, we have to use wisdom. Wisdom is being able to take knowledge and then apply it in our situations at the right time with the right motive. So we want to make sure we're using wisdom. Proverbs 1, 5 acts or suggests, encourages that we add to our learning. So as, as long as we're alive, we'll be sh we should be looking to add and to learn. So that's what we're going to be doing Um as we go through Proverbs, Proverbs 1 verse 7 says this. It says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now, when I say when you see that, it's not fear like you scared of something like a scary movie. No, it's talking about more of a reverence or a respect. So the first key to getting wisdom and to having sound uh, decision making and being prudent and having an understanding about what you should do and when you should do it and how you should do it is you have to have a respect and a reverence for God. That's what the scripture says in Proverbs 1 and 7. It says that the beginning of wisdom, the foundation, the first key to wisdom is a respect or reverence or fear for God. You have to understand that God is supreme. So if I'm going to make smart decisions, my basis should become on what would God do? Or what would God say about this? Okay. It also says that a fool despises discretion. So a fool does not want to hear it. We do not want to be known as a fool. Another word I think of when I hear a fool is a clown, somebody that no one takes serious. So we go through 2021. We're going to look at Proverbs. We're going to study what it is to have good decision making. We're going to study what it means to be disciplined. We're going to study what it means to be prudent. It gives you some wonderful insights, and I'm excited about it as we go into this new year. I'm excited. Hope you're excited because we do not want to be a fool. A fool is this. A fool is someone who focuses on now and doesn't think about later. A fool outspeaks everyone because they don't want to listen. A fool also overrides their inner voice, the Holy Spirit, their conscience, when they know that something is wrong and they do it anyways. And lastly, a fool lacks self-control. So you have to make up in your mind that no matter what, I'm not going to be a fool this year. I'm going to get me some wisdom. And we're going to do that as we study Proverbs uh, this year, I want you to look at Proverbs 1, uh, verses 1 through 7, the first chapter, verses 1 through 7. Look at them. You, it's different versions of the Bible. Look at them, study them, learn them, understand what it means to have wisdom. It begins with a fear, a reverence, a respect for God. Be blessed. Have a great week. I'm excited for this new year. Look forward to connecting with you more often this year. Be blessed.